Or would you? Just go, oh, f I can't be bothered. I guess we can cut it. Okay, so, oh, look, we, oh, we didn't, oh, just, we've got a snap brand there, look. Uh, oh, this has been perfect. It's like everything in one. There's no way we want to waste it. Okay, so let's, um, if you look at there, do you think that'll snap off there if we pull it? With the wind? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Let's give it a go. Right. I'll grab a couple of straps. Yeah. No idea. Right, so we what? That's a what? Thank you, thank you. Straight to yeah, straight through there I think. They've taken this out of the assessment now, but we're jiggling, jiggling, don't we? Wiggling, jiggling. There we go. Go on then, John. You're near as a handle, aren't you? Let's give him a little winch, see what happens to it, see if he pops off. Yeah. And what you can do is you can watch the other the tree as well, see if it's bending. You know what I mean? You just keep an eye on it, really. Yes! Right, okay, so now that danger's out of the way, okay, we can now tackle okay, the root for this nice root plate, yeah? This is probably not going to go very well. Go it's going to pull straight through that piece of log. Right. So now, okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to cut that. Okay. Just do, do a reduction cut on that, up, over, around, up and down with a J cut, like you're doing over spaghetti. Nice and steady. Um, I might, uh, yeah, I'll do it from this side. Okay, and then we'll have one person on the winch, and then one person or whoever's left to be here. Because you. <laughs> On some of it, there's, there's loads of really good, there's loads of shit, but there's loads of really good videos on YouTube as well of people doing this with John, absolutely ginormous root plates. And sometimes they've got a big massive pond underneath where they are, and they're kind of like a flipping bow wave coming over. It's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> And then once it's down, okay, you could then finish off doing what you're doing. But that na there now is just like a tree ready to get processed, isn't it? There's no danger there now. It's just there uh, ready to get processed. But obviously we've got the danger of that one, which is right in the way. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so what should we do with this then? What do, what's the, what do you think the safest thing to do here is? Probably just, I don't know, snad up your existing that make a clearing so you can get around that ash tree to kill that ash tree somehow. What I would do, I would process it. So, you know, I, I think it, what, did it, what was it before? Was it 2.75? I can't remember. 3.75 and then 2.4. Yeah. Yeah. It's 3.6 is in 2.4s. Is it? Pretty sure, yeah. 3.6 then. So you could do snad up 3.6, 3.6, probably get two there. You might be able to cross cut them bits off. But you still got that chunky bit at the end. Go up the other end, 
cut the crap off, put the winch on the, so this is less heavy now, isn't it? There's less there, and just drag it off there, okay? Could you, or would you, just go, oh, it, I can't be bothered. I guess flip and cut it. Not if you value uh, your life and limbs. Not if you value your life, flip it, no chance. That there, uh, that's just, that's ready to go. And if it's like, um, depending on, you know, if it's, uh, depending on the type of tree, it's gonna have a lot of springiness in it, can it? A lot of whip, yeah? So you always gotta be super careful. All right, so we're just going to take it nice and steady. So we're going to process this up a bit, chop him up, okay, and then let's have a look down the end. <coughs> a couple of 3.4s or whatever it, what was it? 3.6 and 2.4. 3.6s off that end. And you've still got that log there weighing it down, yeah. Winch on, drag them out. Happy with that? That's what we would do, and that's what we're going to do. All right. Right, so I'll take it out. Drop. Okay, if you pick maybe maybe the tree where the bag is, maybe that one. first on the, my side okay and just doing little cuts and then the cut what cut work that's above the directly above the trigger that's the one you do and it collapsed in a little bit I took off that last little bit so the weather but you see you got restrained there that's why you always do an arms reach out the way okay because obviously you got the wire there yeah it's, it's, not, it's under a little bit of strain but nothing mega okay and exactly the same if it wants to go left or wants to go right if it's at ground level you know which we'll practice this, this again happy days yeah, you can let that off now. Yeah, and you can see it come up, comes up right anymore. Just start to move out a bit. Yeah, look. So you just keep going until it just goes slack. You know, and then just go back and chop the tree down. Yeah. Okay, minute, pretty much. Do a bit more so we can still get apart. Just a way of dealing with the tree under severe tension, yeah? Left or right, even though that was all sort of like left and up. Yeah. I see it went quick, didn't it? Yeah. Yep. If the winch wasn't holding that, <clears throat> it could have flicked out a lot more, couldn't it? Yeah, and damaged yep. property, yourself or whatever, you know? Especially if it's like this sort of level here, which we're doing a bit. It goes that way like that, break your leg easy. Right, so we're going up a bit. And also, you know, to get that down, we have to chop it down to get that down. We, you know what I mean? That'll be fine. Right, cool. Any questions on that? Nope. No. So we've done quite a bit there. Okay. We've done obviously we've done broken top. Yeah. We've done a root plate, securing the root plate, and cutting a root plate. Okay. And we've done a little bit of sideways tension and compression there. Jeez, flipping ways. There's only like a couple more things for me to show you. Like and subscribe.